Hello there everyone, this is Good Guy Palps, and welcome back to Old World. We are playing as Assyria. We have some good, some great bonuses here where we're going to get two orders for every unit killed. I want to try and be very aggressive this game. We've increased the difficulty from the last series up to the Glorious, which is I think the third highest, give or take. And we're playing with all of the uh, other default standard map size, which I think is medium, on a seaside map, which is the default for single player games. And here we go. So uh, yeah, if you like this, if you like Gold War, hit that hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Regardless, thanks for being here. Much appreciated. And let's get right into it. We are Ashurbanipal, the Chosen, the great king chosen to lead Assyria into the Old World. Named to rule before your elder brother, Prince Shamash Shum. The legacy of Assyria is now in your capable hands. Surrounded by enemies, you will need to use every skill at your disposal to help Assyria grow into the glorious empire your ancestors envisioned. The existing civilizations of this old world do not yet know the glory and power of Assyria, but they will learn. Select your settler and found your capital city. You'll choose your nation. Okay. Let's found our capital. So this is our prince. He's our brother and heir. He's 27. We are 22. Younger. Interesting. Let's see. A zealot as general cannot die as leader. 10% chance enlist. Also, all of our melee units start with a focus ability, which is really good. And he's a hero. Okay, so we definitely want to use both of these guys as generals. It's found our capital. Uh, looks like a pretty sweet area, actually. The mountains here are pretty great. These are going to be really good groves. This is going to be a phenomenal mine. In fact, the and along the mountains here are going to give us some really good quarries. And so I was actually thinking of moving up to here. But honestly, this actually might be a pr the best spot. For one, we get all our units and don't only use one order. But we also will be able to use grow to the, this far, I believe, eventually, and get uh, some really good quarries around there. Okay, now we can choose champions, giving us two training for, per year, plus 50% 50, 50 city defense. New, the new units will start with steadfast uh, on top of focus, which is pretty nice. We can go hunters, new range units start with sniping, which is really good, camps and nets. 100% output. We're not going to have any camps here. Patrons. Two civics per year. Some culture. Can hurry projects with money. One discontent levels per culture. New quarter court minister. Oftentimes I like to... Well, oftentimes. I've played like two full series, right? But I, I kind of like the idea of going with a almost a peaceful... It, it's I guess it's pretty debatable. We're going to be pumping out some units early to just, just go explore and fight enemy units. Uh, the clerics, let's see, they're going to get minus one discontent. That's pretty solid, actually. Can build urban improvements on sand. Oh. So that's not great for this, but if we get a city over here where it looks pretty sandy, that uh, these guys might actually be really good. Looks like they focus a lot on religion. This is more civics. These are. I think we're going to probably go these three, to be honest. Sorry, religious people. Uh, this is very tempting to be the capital, seeing that we're going to gain some legitimacy. We're going to get some civics and culture per year, letting our capital city kind of boom. But then we kind of need all of our other cities to to get this. Let's see. Camps and Nets isn't much of a bonus. On seat found at Ad Garrison. Court Minister, if, if we uh, do that. You know what? I think I'm going to change it up, and we're going to go Champions. Now we get to choose our which tech we want to go. Let's go ahead and look at, take a look at the tech tree. We already have divination, and we already have stone cutting. No, we don't. We already have military drill, trapping, and administration. Because of that, we want to go ahead and mark steel. Because that's definitely the direction we want to go, as well as phalanx. And, oh, free hoplite. Okay, yeah. I think we want to grab iron working immediately. The reason for that is, right now, we get a huge bonus towards building our uh, military units here, because we're the champion city. But we're going to build a settler first. So, yeah, that's kind of the reasoning there. Now, let's take this slinger. We're going to want to go fight these barbarians. We also want to go scout. Let's go kind of explore this mountain range a bit. And a loop around here. It looks like we're going to be trapped, so I kind of want to go up here and then up to that river. We don't use all our orders. Let's first grab this guy. Oh, it recommends a granary sword. Let's go build this mine. This feels like it's the best option. Early, you're going to get some training and a lot of iron per turn. Also, upgraded the difficulty, so we start with much less resources. Something we definitely have to manage. 
Probably a, definitely a good city somewhere over here. We're going to stone. Can only move so far. I almost want to go conquer this. We almost need a unit first. Maybe a second slinger. Let's see, how long do we get iron working? Eight years? Yeah, we might get both of these and then start pumping out warriors. Because let's move our let's prioritize moving our scout. Let's go grab this. Hungry lore keepers. Our explorers find a family of starving lore keepers encamped in the ruins, surviving on scraps. Pleading for help, they offer to share their mastery of oratory in exchange for food. Will you agree? Uh, we don't have enough food, not even close, unfortunately. Which would, would have given us a free tech, though, which would have been nice. Did you have to report that they made contact with a neighboring nation already? Okay, well, definitely will be war. So, um, they're going to gain 80 opinion. It's going to be 40. It's going to be 20. Let's be friendly. I don't want to be, like, subservient to them. We're almost undoubtedly going to have war eventually. So, travels from a foreign land. Although they speak a strange tongue, these men and women appear harmless. They wish to greet our people and establish relationships. We already found Persia. These are very... Persia is very much a warmongering sieve. Interact with them and share freely. We, they gain 20 opinion. Let's interact with them. They're very far away, so it's pretty low risk to do that, I believe. Next turn already. Let's let's roll. Okay, so we can harvest these. Giving us some gold. We can harvest the cattle. We're still going to be building this for a few years. I want to continue with this scout. See, I want to see how many units they have, etc. Let's also, I guess we can move that direction though. That definitely looks like our next city site. It would also be a great place for hunters because they get bonuses from camps. I believe these will be camps. Trying to optimize as much as possible. No, well, that wasn't very optimal, was it? All right, we got some legitimacy. Also found some horses and what is this honey? Looks like honey. Yeah, beautiful. Now with three orders left, we can go ahead and move almost in range, but out of their range as well. Okay, weary riders enter the capital with a message. The ruler of Greece wishes to uh, you warm greetings and would like to establish friendly relations. We know little of these Greeks. How should we proceed? By the way, with this increased difficulty, uh, I mean, I, I don't know how the war is going to fare. Welcome Greeks to Assyria could lead to future events and gifts as a display of goodwill. We don't have the gold for that. So we're not going to do that. Critical hit. That's actually pretty great. The second slinger might not have been necessary if we could have known we could have gambled on a critical hit. All right. Our troops discover a towering wall depicting images and carvings belonging to an ancient civilization with an impeccable record of their laws. Our generals want to preserve such findings. What do you advise? Advise a command. Bring the wall to Azur. We gain culture in the capital. Acquire aristocracy. Ooh. This is a free tech. Honestly, free text is just so good. Centralization gives our capital vassalage minus 50% unit. That's probably what we would take. Uh, the culture is tempting, but I'm going to take the free tech. I think that's better. I've already fought. We definitely want this pretty soon. Problem is, once we take this, we're going to have to hold it. So we might as well actually pump out this settler a little early. Kind of a sunk cost going for that slinger early. But we'll still get him. We'll, st we'll still want those ranged units. So it's not like we are suffering too much. All right, here's some stone. Harvest the marble. Because we need a lot of that. All right, now that we got that mine, it recommends putting a mine here. We could also build a barracks here to start uh, getting us more training, but it's going to use iron every year. It is very tempting. The only issue I have with it is that we have a decent amount of training. It doesn't hurt to have more. We can also get an ambassador now. Plus 20 tribe opinion, and we're going to lose civics every turn. That's pretty terrible. But at the same time, 
It's better than nothing, right? Better than no ambassador. Yeah. Okay. Let's, you know what? Already, I'm like, maybe we need that second slinger. Uh, okay, which way to send this worker? We can't do lumber mills yet, so we'd have to put quarries here, which would be very valuable. Uh, though I'd prefer to probably put them around here. Enables officer, which is pretty good. Let's actually go build the barracks. Oh, we don't have some. We don't have the stone. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go build a quarry right here. Hmm. If we put the quarry here, we can remove it later to build baths if we want. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Y'all are probably laughing. We need stone cutting. Huh. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need to get that early. Now, because of that, we're going to have to go build this mine. Whoopsie. Or unless we harvest enough stone. We'll be able to harvest that next turn. We're out of orders. All right, let's go next turn. A delegation of Persia with a rise that marriage proposal for your king. We should consider it carefully as the best option. We could become married to the Persians. I'm going to say no, not this time. I, I prefer, we, although we want a wedding, we want to do it with the families if possible. Now we need 60 stone. Okay, let's harvest the marble. Let's get the f away from these guys. We have 51 marble. Okay, so that didn't give us what I was hoping. Okay, our scouts have identified a Gallic settlement in the nearby wilderness. Their camp appears to be temporary and is likely part of a larger migration. The Gauls are on the move. Ignore them and we gain six orders. He becomes intelligent. I like that. I like the sound of it at least. Or we gain training. Um, becomes vigilant. Also get better defense. If we were going to be on the defense, we're going to be on the offense. Let's become intelligent. There's a lot of first. There is some more Gauls. And there's the Egyptians. Okay, we can't give them a gift, so we'll just keep it civil. I mean, we must dominate them. Actually, they are very close, so that is probably going to happen. And we still don't have the, uh, the stone to build a barracks there. So we're actually going to put this mine down right here. I'm hoping we can take this guy out. We should be able to. He's probably going to retreat into the city site. Actually, no. So we can actually go claim this. And got a critical hit. So yeah, switching to the settler was the right move. We'll go settle this, settle the hunt, get the hunters here. And then after that, I wonder if we could actually settle the city here. I don't think that's a city site. I think we want to come find, take over this city site next once we have a settler and stuff, and we'll probably put the uh, the judge people there. Well, the champions would make sense. This is going to be bordered up with Egypt, so that we can have better city defense. All right, let's go. Oh, we're a little too far. A lot of barbarians, though. Do we have? We're still building. We already fought. Okay, so yeah, all we need to do is move this guy. Let's go down this direction so we can scout the Egyptians a little bit. We definitely don't want to lose this scout, so we have to be a little wary of that. Let's take out the barbarian. So, hold on. Our capital city has a crown. This doesn't have a crown, so it's probably not their capital city. But if it's not... Where, okay, there's their capital, it's right here. Okay, so they must have came through this pass, which it's like, of course they did. All right, they came this way and settled in our in our area, so. Let's go continue to scout up, scout a bit. in the year, keep five orders to get some gold. Oop, don't click. Now we do have rhetoric recommended, okay, so I don't think I like that. It recommends rhetoric. Stone cutting, though, we need quarries bad. Um... Like, steel would be good, but we're going to need work, more workers and stuff. Rhetoric is recommended. We get exploration. No unit consumption when outside borders. That's pretty solid, actually. Ten culture per military unit killed. That's pretty great. We're going to take stone cutting, though. It's just stone is used everywhere, so we have to get some quarries down. All right, we're going to just promote. Ooh, that's not a general. I should have done that before. Let's take... Let's take our, actually, let's take, yeah, we, we, I think we want to put us on 
as the warrior when we build him. So let's put our, our brother as the general. There's the Gauls. There's the Mediterranean Sea. Makes sense. Okay, the emissary from the Thracians was escorted to our capital by surprisingly well-disciplined formation of soldiers put on an elaborate, elaborate show of military coordination outside the city gates. While she makes no threats, the implication is clear that they have a powerful force at their command. It is too discipline. Our battle will be epic. We go to war. Maintain the initial truce. We gain some training. It is martial. It is warlike. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we might as well keep the truce and get training out of it. That seems like a no-brainer. Marriage offer. Okay, so now... Oh, from Greece. Interesting. So we're not getting any from... Let's take a look at this. They don't like us, so if you marry Greece, we'd be a lot friendlier. Which might allow us to focus... Focus on a war with Egypt, eventually. Because we're not sure how the heck we even get to Greece. Probably right through here. That also looks like it's Roman. Because here's Greece way over here. This map's not very big. It might be worth marrying someone from Greece just because we need allies early. We're very much in the middle. Okay, an emissary from Greece comes from the court. He wrote, his robes are torn and shabby, and he glances around anxiously as he makes a plea. These are troubled times. If our people were experiencing hardship, would you be there for to aid us? What commitments shall we make to Greece? Gold. So we just pay them. Food. It's not. We don't have a ton of that. If we do gold, what does that give us? Peace. Let's do that. I think that's actually cheap to have peace with them. We yeah we we essentially have a peace that's actually pretty solid. I don't want to do a trade mission, but it costs so many civics that it's not quite worth it. But now that we have that peace, uh, maybe we can work towards getting a, an alliance with them. It's pretty expensive. I think I'm gonna say how old are we? Thirty. You know what? We do need to get married pretty soon. The thirty-one is pretty old. Let's take the commander. Uh, we could work on getting an alliance with with Greece, being at least friendly with them, and then focus on a war with Egypt once we spread enough. Yeah, we're up to positive. Or we were. It's time to choose your next ambition. Five unit promotions. Okay, that's all we can do. So we're a little late to our second city. But our settler is finally ready to go. So we're going to settle this. We're going to take the hunters. Camps and nets, and these will be camps. Have some legitimacy. We're going to immediately build. Costs 50 stone. No wonder we use so much stone. Okay, we're going to use. We're going to build a worker. Here, we're going to build a warrior. Here we're going to heal. It's going to use an order. That's fine. We want to get workers onto these, which we need animal husbandry, I believe. Let's take a look at the tech tree. We started with trapping, so we can build camps already. So let's move right here so we can start putting those camps down. And now we're going to have to end the year. I don't know. I remember where our scout is. Too far away and in danger. Persia declares war in Greece. It is spring and the tender flowers are in bloom, painting the land in vivid pastels. Your family and, and members of the court have gathered to celebrate the spring equinox, a time when light and darkness are in balance and hope permeates the air. Those gathered eagerly look to you as you prepare to speak. How shall we remember this wonderful day and ensure that future generations may enjoy the same? All will remember our greatest deeds. Starts ambition, enact epics. Now ambitions are great, helps us win. Now we and we want to enact epics, so all we have to do is research rhetoric and have enough civics. Enact exploration, we don't want that. Enact slavery. Um that's probably debatable. I think we want to enact epics. So that's actually pretty sweet that we got that. Alright, let's build this camp. It gives us uh food, growth essentially, and food. We get double yields there, which is just really, really nice. We're building a slinger, and then we're going to 
pump out this warrior. We're going to throw our leader as a general on the warrior. And we're going to take the... And then we'll start building the settler, actually, after that. And we will move them this way. I thought he was injured. I wonder why I wasn't really showing it. Okay, let's find our way back if we can. I want to continue to explore, but I kind of want the scout somewhere a bit more useful. It's in the year. All right, let's promote this slinger. First arranged defense. Focus. Critical hits deal double damage. That's pretty great, actually, especially for a ranged unit. Continue to scout here. Oh, they already have cities down here as well. The AI definitely gets some big bonuses on this difficulty. Something to be wary of. End the year. This city is a bit. Sorry, no, the other city is exposed. All right, the royal family visits the court during a feast. Prince Nefer, Nefer, something like that. I think she's the one with the famous like b head in a museum. And if it is, then I've seen her. At least the head uh, of Egypt making a shocking boast about how much better of a ruler she'll be one day. Queen Hatshepsut, the learned of Egypt, chides her for her practice and turns to us for support. Okay, so we gain their current favor that's probably fine for now because and then we make their next generation hate us because we're probably not going to be ready for a grand war until we build up and get to our siege units which over here in machinery so which i think we need let's see this which uh enable city governor unlocks battering ram a stronghold that's what we want Battering Ram, Melee Siege, starts with Assault, upgrades the Siege Tower. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to want eventually. Let's go next unit here. All right, so we now have the first promotion. We have this Slinger. We're going to move to here. And we're going to add this promotion. Eagle Eye is the best for ranged units. Bloodthirsty if damaged, focus three. It's a pretty expensive version. Let's let's go uh, do some fighting first. It's almost not quite worth taking this out until we have the settler ready. So we actually might want to just come explore. I don't think they can harvest. Alright. Also, speaking of exploration, we get some, oh, nice, we started a mountain, got some legitimacy, let's go north. Ooh, our units approach the Babylonian border. They are met with armed soldiers. These men bring an aggressive message. All nations willing to treat with Babylonia must pay tribute. Pay tribute in gold, pay tribute in iron. Refuse to pay tribute. Yeah, we're going to definitely refuse to pay tribute. Like, are you kidding me? Now, they might actually be our closest neighbors that we might need to see if there's a pass here. Speaking of, there's a city site. All right, so these guys need to shoot here. We need to move here and get this kill. We need to, we need to come claim that as, as fast as we can. That in mind, let's bring the scout this direction. Come on. Like that is a pretty great spot. And it might be at a pass that we want to hold. So I want to come scout with that. In, it's, it's, and claim it as soon as we can. I'm, I'm worried because it's cleared, it's already been claimed. And if it is claimed, we might have to go to war. All right, so we also want to probably use this as a farm production village. But first, let's put it put in our camps. Using a lot of our lumber. But then we can put a grain right here and a bunch of farms around it. Game Trapper, that's actually pretty epic. Hunt. We get food and, oh, nice. Tended, tended by another worker, we're getting a ton of growth, and it it kind of doesn't hurt, to, to, but we don't have that many orders either. So almost two workers is enough right now. We kind of need more science and stuff. We could also just grab a treasury. The Game Trapper, pretty great. 
Um, it's actually pretty solid. I think we should grab that. All right, let's bring this guy that direction. Let's throw this guy on this hill. Take a shot there. Now, we don't want to quite kill them unless we know we can't settle here. here luckily, they've gone south. So I'm hoping this is open to us. All right, so pasture could be good. Axemen would be really great for an early war. I'm gonna X out of this real fast to think about it. And depending on kind of what we find here. Okay, so they definitely have claimed this. Crap. So we might have to settle here first. They don't like us. We could just go to war, but we would probably want this guy. Let's get pretty close. Let's add our general. Us. Hmm, five unit promotions as well. Let's make at least make them weaker. Let's peek up here and see what they have. I think this is a pass, so if we can take this, kill him, take the city site, and then hold the pass, we'd be in good shape. Now to do that, we want to enact rhetoric, so we let's uh let's target that tech. Steel could be a pretty solid. Um, it has on control, can fortify, consumes two iron, cost 100 iron, which is a lot of iron, but we also are getting a decent amount of iron. Uh, food boost, no, we're not gonna take that, but pastures, I don't think we really have any of those near us. Labor force is pretty decent, mostly because it gets us towards phalanx, which is good. Honestly, I think the best thing to take here is steel. We also wanna mark forestry. I think we're gonna research steel. It's gonna take a while, but it'll it'll be good. Should could set us apart above other sieves. Oh, uh oh, there's some barbarians. That's no good. All right. Oh, interesting. So now we've claimed the seaside and we don't have to go to war. Out of mind, let's still come up here and hold this pass so they can't come through. I also want to, we are out of movement on that guy, but I want promotions to get this uh, first ambition. It's like the easiest one, so I'm going to grab guard, since we're kind of playing it a little defensive right here. I don't want to clear this out until we're ready to take it. Hoping the AI doesn't go just nab it. You know what, with that in mind, uh, we don't have, oh, it costs 100 food. Yeah, we don't have the food yet to get another settler there. So we're going to have to wait a bit. Can't promote. We're out of, out of orders. I'd like to heal him. All right. Thank you, Babylon. All right. Now we can also get quarries. So let's take this. If everyone's a quarry there, that's five per year. Quarry would give us seven here. Eleven here. Ooh, that's good. Let's go straight here and build a quarry. That's too good to pass up, even if it is right next to the city. It's, it's great. Let's actually hop into the city here. Take a heal. All right, so this is the pass. Let's take the promotion. Oh, we're out of orders. Never mind. We did lose a lot to uh, do everything we just did. This is going to be a great city for us. Huge. The best. Everybody knows. All right, shield bearer versus ranged. Actually, he's not bad. Combat, guard, melee. That's usually they're going to be fighting. Now, with this builder, we could do another quarry. Could go build our barracks. No, we can't. We don't have near enough stone. We could build a granary, which consumes 40 lumber. Then we could put farms all around it and just have a huge like farm, little farm bill out here. I don't think that's quite necessary though. We're getting 27 food per turn. Mm, so it really is, we either want more iron. We're going to get a lot of units soon. So maybe getting more iron is actually pretty tempting. It recommends a lot of cores. Then maybe we should just come over here and build another quarry. 
all along this mountain range. Next unit here we go. We're just gonna put this guy to sleep. We only need one more promotion, so we might do that soon. Let's take a go to the next unit. These guys need to heal if they can. I just want them to go this way. We can't the action queue, so we don't just use all our orders next turn. I want to get them back towards home. All right, a procession of ambassadors and soldiers from Babylon have entered the capital. Lies. We blocked the pass. Their leader, a bearded, bejeweled diplomat, addresses the court. Nebuchadnezzar has so far shown patience with your insolence, but now you will pay the tribute owed to your nation, show your fealty, or suffer the consequences. Refuse. Minus 80 opinion. Yeah, we're refusing. Okay. That used a decent amount of orders, but I knew both workers were, were busy. They must have been able to go right through here. First range, but it's okay. Guard. Defensive strength. Urban versus ranged. We got a legitimacy. There we go. We're also in the last, which is expected. Beginning of the game. Enact epics. That's right. We need to do that. I don't want to take the promotion here. So the, this area for city is also good right here and up here will be really good city spots. Obviously we need to get these ones near us and around our capital first. I'd like to come scout right around here. In fact, building the scout is not a terrible idea. It's interesting. I can't... I don't know why I can't rush that in. Oh, we could actually choose a governor. He wouldn't lead the warrior anymore. That would increase our science. Cost 100 civics. That's not very good bonuses, though. Hmm. What is our leader's serious strengths? Has leader plus two. Got, yeah, I kind of want to wait till we have a better person to be our governor there. Let's see what this is. Hard label will use the trouble line. Our scouts pass across passes an eccentric traveler who claims to have established a new system of communication. He said that there's a written language known as an alphabet. Oh boy. And that is used as symbols and inscriptions to record knowledge for posterity. Hard label. Okay, we get a citizen and a bunch of stone. We get a court scholar. That'd actually be great to be our governor. Gain okay, propaganda. Plus 20%. That's, ugh, these are phenomenal bonuses. Um, the court scholar... Or agents. Yeah, so the court scholar is very tempting. The stone, though, man, that's nice. I think we're, we're building quarries, though, so let's take the court scholar. A scientist, and then let's come here. Let's potentially grab this guy. Yeah, it's going to give us a lot of science. Let's take that. That's really good, Governor. We're going to go to sleep there. And let's move our scout, try to avoid any baddies that we run into. All right. I don't know who that is. It must be family. Your niece. Okay, so his daughter. We don't have any children yet. Come on, get to work. Um, perfect. So we continue to explore with the scout here. We actually can harvest this game. Okay, maybe we can sneak back over here. Beautiful. Okay, we can sneak back this way. We just gotta avoid those barbarians. Those workers are both going to be done next turn. I kind of do want to just scout forward a bit with this guy. Just to see what we're dealing with. Alright, so there's the borders. Okay, in the air. Upgrading him to steel means we have to have him retreat to the capital. Share knowledge with military drill and hopes they one day return the favor. Yeah, we're not going to give them, like, they might, we want to be allies and all, but we don't want to just give you free techs. Come on. 
Right, so we could come scout more, but it looks like we have like a free run to Babylon here. I want to see a scout here would be great. And only a couple turns, right, till we get steel four turns. We get there pretty quick. Let's peek forward a bit more. Okay, now let's retreat. All right, freed up workers. Let's go build a quarry here. And let's go get this quarry as well. Oh boy, we need trees. No, what? No, we need orders. Okay, we're out of orders. So yeah, we can't build that till next turn. Wait, yeah, we can. Why can't we? Oh, it costs three orders because we're removing trees and building. Got it. Okay. In the year, we'll stock up some gold from keeping those orders. Okay. She is growing up. She's 12. Let's have her study tactics. Let's move back here. Pop forward a bit there. Okay, so they do have cities here. So now we want to come back this way. Choose our production. We've got a game trapper. Very nice. We can also grab a settler now. That is definitely the best thing to do. We're going to wait a couple turns. Actually, we're going to get that settler in four turns. We might as well move forward. Let's make sure we're good. We need to first plop down this quarry. And now we're going to come forward this way. All right, so that's what we're worried about. they got some, some big-time units here. If we come here, we might force them to attack across the river. Ooh, we're on a hill, so we get extra range. Let's do that. Upgrade our general. Okay, shield bearer. Uh, as leader, all units do better against range. We are going to probably go to war with Babylon first. That's actually probably the best. Discipline. Yeah, we're going to take shield bearer. Snuffle to just. Okay, with one turn, sell steel. I want to get this guy back there. Okay, he can, he can go a little bit, though, can't you? Yeah. All right, so they retreated with that guy. That's interesting. Um, we got this settler up here. I'm not sure where the best spot's going to be. Probably right. We don't even want this single tile in it. Probably right here. Eh, probably right here. We're going to get these grows. We're going to be around the. Yeah. Okay. Choose production. Could grab another settler, but honestly, we probably want to build them here and focus on military if we can. Let's grab another warrior. We're going to have a lot of. Battles going on. Technical lore. In addition to the tactics and warfare, the future leader of a series is expected to spend time learning the technical lore of the experts. Okay, everything from horse riding. Okay, all that stuff. It is vital to understand every part. She gains discipline, but she becomes estranged. She gains courage, but loses discipline. That'll be a little. That'll be a little tough on her. It's in the year. We're actually, not even using all our orders, which is interesting. All right, so they are building wonders. My goal this game is to build almost no wonders. Maybe we'll build like one or two of their military themed. Otherwise, I want to conquer wonders and see if we get steal, if we can steal points. Labor force is recommended, and that is probably valid. Imagine if we got battle line right now without a bunch of macemen. Pretty sweet. I like polis. Really, there's only monasticism, which gives us, like, religion. Yeah, we're going to go with labor force for sure. You know, it's funny. We got our. We don't need to go all the way back to our capital. We're going to found our third city. Now, champions actually, I think, makes the most sense here. It's going to improve our city defense. Interesting. Skipped family seat, and so we won't be connected to the capital. Dang it. All right, because of that, we kind of have to. I won't be connected to the capital, so we're going to have to build roads. We are going to get a lot of specialists here, so that's probably fine. All right, the emissary from Scythians that arrived with a gift of wood in the hopes of establishing peaceful relations. Tremendous. Gain a bunch of wood, and we maintain the initial truce. And we gain a minister. 
has joined the court. His aptitude matters to state. Great. So we might have some more like deserty places to settle here, which might actually be pretty decent, but we still want to prioritize this. Did someone already claim that? Probably. Where is our... No, they're dead. Our scout died. Dang it. Four turns, two turns. We're gonna grab another scout. Got a critical hit there, very nice. With those quarries in place, we can go build this uh, barracks, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna upgrade here to an Axeman. Don't have walls. I would like to get military units. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to grab another scout here. So we can have one scout come this way. And the other scout. We do want, we want someone to claim this, but we also want scouts to come up uh, you know, all over. How do we have this scout come here, discover this, and then come up north. And the other scout come this way. Is your ambassador. Okay, let's take foreign opinion. All cities get growth. Global plus two civics. Hmm. Let's take wisdom. Actually, you know what? Maybe we just build an axeman here. And we forget about the scout. We just get that one scout. And then we just instead kind of go all in on war. I wonder if we could, I wish we could cancel this. Do we get any production back? Lose where you're I guess no, and we'll build an axeman after. With those two units, we might even be able to declare a war. And, oh, I wonder if you can steal set. I think you can only kill them. Because with a lot of melee, we might be able to start a war here and, and win against Babylon. All right. This is the most superior general. What? A delegation from Babylon is sent to help settle a minor dispute that is brewing between your two nations. At dinner, one of the parties speculates on who could beat the gods of war. Leading to a spirited debate, they, pull, they put forward Duke Marduk and Nadani as the, better, as the best candidate. So they're upset. No. Yeah, we're definitely choosing our own general. Her mother's despotism. Dang it. Indifferent queen. Your wife, Queen Katsura, spends more and more nights at her private estate outside the capital. When she visits the palace, she treats you with cold indifference. Meanwhile, your beautiful lawn, lowborn hunting companion has drawn your attention. Shall we arrange some private time for you? Requires Queen Consort. She wants... Oh, she's gay. Yeah. Come on, we gotta... Oh, okay, we're definitely getting raided. That's for sure. That's also unfortunate, because I'd like to... Who are these, the Scythians? Yeah, I'd like to not have war with them right now. If possible. Another great critical hit. One turn we get a settler, we get that city placed. Choose ambition. Kill 10 military units. Field four generals, that's super easy. Let's take the generals. I think that's definitely a really, really easy one. At the end of the year. That's early. We need more units. It is what we're, we're working on, though. Your beautiful hunting command has requested a private audience. She presents you with a child born of your passionate affair. You agree to let her raise the baby as at court as your own, but outside the royal line. You have an illegitimate son. Yeah, we might make him our heir. Heal, let them come attack us with those raiding units. Take this builder. Actually, no. First... Move this settler a little closer. And then next turn, we should be able to finish that off. Okay, they definitely settled the city here. And yeah, we're definitely going to be going to a lot of war. We need a lot more units. Settle these cities. It might even be our last city, really, and just start pumping out units. Get another champion city to pump out military. And we want these guys to start pumping out ranged units if they can. They get sniping. So after that scout, let's grab a slinger. 
take another wife. The Scythians have approached the court with marriage proposal for your royal self. It does not escape the court that such a match will be looked down upon by the people of Assyria. Okay, she's only 26. Yeah, we're definitely going to take that. And the reason is because we need an heir. A legitimate heir. <clears throat> we're going to... Hold on. I'm going to say next turn. And a farm here actually kind of makes sense. How are we doing? We need more iron, that's for sure. Let's go build a mine. Because we're going to be building... We're building a lot of units. And they cost a lot of iron. Oh my gosh. Okay, Egypt. All right, your heart was so joy as you gaze down upon your newborn daughter. There we go, our heir. Uh, Princess Saraya. This is a monumentous occasion. Collect gifts from the noble families. Send commemorative coins to all the nobles. How's our families doing? Yeah, they're all right. Pre present Saraya to the adoring public. Plus 10 culture, plus 2 legitimacy. I'll take that. We're going to need units big time. Let's take this upgrade. They're so close to settling that. They already have spearmen. We need to find... We have peace of the Scythians, good. So now it's like, who do we attack, right? Do we want to go attack Babylon, or do we go just start attacking Egypt so we can take these cities up here? That's probably debatable. Egypt actually kind of makes the most sense, because we can just maybe wipe out this unit and then claim these pretty exposed cities. Their capital is way over here. So I also kind of want to become friendly here. Hmm. To make sure we kind of stay peaceful on this front. If that makes sense. I'm going to send a trade mission. It's going to cost some civics, but I think that's worth it if we can be more at peace with them. Definitely need these units uh, ready here. I think we're going to prep an army and attack Egypt. How are we doing? Okay, let's take a heal since we can heal in neutral territory. And let's pop our settler right here. Inspired by nature. Okay, she keeps sneaking off to the wild. She becomes tough. I like that. Becomes fierce versus infantry. We're going to take that. Okay. End year. Bring a lot of gold. Not per turn, just because we keep having leftover orders. Is that true, Persia? Alright, we need rhetoric so we can enact epics. Although, composite bow. Let's go actually mark that because getting a composite bowman out of this would be pretty solid. I kind of wish I could tell just how much damage we could do. I think we want to wait one more turn, though. I'm worried if we wait too long, they'll just throw a city down. We're not super aware just how strong their army is. I bet we could clear something out over here, but... Hold on. I thought this was a... I thought it was the Slinger. It's not. It is definitely... Actually, with that, though, let's actually come scout out what they've got here. Let's harvest that marble. Alright, so one city, pastures... Pretty exposed. This is also in their borders, so we can't really claim that. It might already be gone. A war demand. But only if we pay tribute. Okay, well, very well, we'll send the money, actually. We're going to send that to Persia. And the reason we're doing that is just to avoid war with them so that we can declare war on, on Egypt next turn. On national identity and encouraging... He has a commander. So our, our courtier... Has come under fire for his outspoken views on national identity and encouraging domestic development. Uh, he fears that too many resources go toward the discovery of new lands while people on our own cities languish. He desires a new investment in the Assyrian nation and what it means 
to its citizens. And this character must look inward. He gets 40 opinion, plus 20 opinion of epics. We want epics, so that's what we're taking. Tactic studies, a commander or a tactician. Answer general or spymaster as leader plus two vision range for range units. Okay, and they can be hidden. If general, if leader stuns target. Becomes commander, can hurry units. If like, let's take tactician. Need to finish this turn. That's all right. Let's take a promotion here. We have quite a bit of training. Bloodthirsty actually makes a lot of sense since they are damaged. Can't wait too long in case they get a settler here. We're moving a settler this way, which they probably are. Oh, right when we're about to go to war, he just dies. Alright, so let's go here. Let's declare war. Requires longer than five turns since last war. Asked to declare war. If we click this, it'll cost a bunch of civics. Yeah, we're just going to declare war. Okay, beautiful. Slingers. Okay, so they are definitely well armored. We're on a hill. They're damaged, like, wow. Definitely gonna withstand it better than I thought they would. I don't see any other units close though, so that's good. <coughs> I'm gonna shoot from back here, because we don't get a kill either way, and we're further away, a little safer. Uh, we have units here ready to go. I'm gonna put this slinger I actually kind of want to be defensive, but I'm not super worried. Like, worst case scenario, Babylon attacks. we got to run back up here. So I kind of want to just send these guys this way. I want to start with this infantry, of course. Let's move this way. Take a heal. Give them full health, and then send the slinger this direction. Ooh, if we move the slinger, we can't move here. We did just get the barracks, which is great. Um... Could go over here and grab another mine instead. I think that's pretty valuable. It's no one in the air. We'll get a maximum soon. And another slinger. Okay, beautiful. So they actually retreated with that unit. We'll trade for iron for civics. Terms are not generous. We'll trade iron for additional training. We lose 15 per turn. That's a lot. We don't. Okay. I thought the game crashed. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, the civics are good. I think we're just going to prefer not to trade. The opinion would be great. Is the, is the opinion worth that cost, essentially? The training isn't bad. Like, well, we can use it. Let's take it. All right. Now, let's grab our settler. Let's found the champions. And let's start working on an Axeman will take eight years and cost a lot of iron. I don't think we have... Yeah, we got time. Actually, let's grab a worker real fast. We have a lot of quarries we can throw down right here. We're treating with their unit, which means death. Go scout out this city, okay. Sealed in a musty tomb, surrounded by strange signs and sigils, our scouts discover an ancient but surprisingly well-preserved scroll, thinking that this unsettling may bring it to you for judgment. While the writing is an unknown language, it is oddly simple. It feels as if you could quickly learn it if you devoted time to the task. Study the scroll. Uh, we gain... Oh, he becomes exotic. Okay. Get a court scholar. Uh, let's take the court scholar, actually. We could use her, probably. Also, I like that we got two wives. It's pretty dope. A 30-year-old and a 53-year-old. How old are we? 52. Not bad. 
All right. With that, let's go claim the city. Hmm. We need we need a field for generals, right? So we don't have a general here. Let's start putting generals on our on our troops. Let's move. Uh, let's see. Let's come this direction. Add a general. Heal initial territory is pretty solid. Get a big boost versus mounted. Immune to critical hit. 10% versus infantry. Ooh, let's take the yeah, let's take the Scythian. And then let's move this guy forward. Let's go and do one more turn. But we're wrapping this up. We're in a pretty exciting spot. Babylon declares war on Egypt. Oh, that's actually a phenomenal move by that AI. Taking advantage. Uh, let's see, it's gonna give us a mine. This could give us a better mine. This could give us a okay mine. We're kind of boxing ourselves in, but we do need the mines. Hmm. Also a barracks doesn't hurt. Food's not bad. We need gold, but we don't really have uh, enough. The, we don't have enough text to get there to use the gold. We have two generals fielded. We want to throw a general on here. Ooh, that's huge. First infantry. Let's take that. All right, so we should complete that ambition. Granted, we don't get in here to start sacking the city yet, but here now we do. Our flank is fine. We only have four units actually, so again, we need to pump out these accident slingers. And with this, we'll get like a fifth city, and we pretty much won't build any more settlers unless we really want to. We'll just start conquering everything. Now with the scout, I don't see a point of like attacking their city. We could go look for their units to see if they're bringing any this way. But I kind of want to just go scout this region out over here. So we're going to use those up. And then let's also cancel the action queue so we don't use them. We want to attack first before we use orders coming into the desert. We'll get rhetoric next turn. It's going to be a big turn. I'm actually kind of excited to take it. But we're going to have to end the episode here. This has been exciting. I'm really excited to play Syria. This is an increased difficulty, and so far we're doing okay. We're managing it. I think we'll take this city, I'm hoping, and then maybe we can sweep into here. Oh, let's go. That's where the Oracle is. Okay, so we're definitely going to immediately, once we take this, the, this is very exposed. Egypt might be able to put a defense here, but it still should be kind of exposed. We'll take this, and maybe clear this out, with it, and then throw a settler there. Pushing into here will be hard, but if they're distracted with Babylon... Maybe we can come take this. And then after that, it's obviously we have to take Babylon. But we can maybe attack them here. But regardless, let me know what you think about this episode and the game and, and everything. And thanks for being here, everyone. Love you all. Love the support. Very grateful for it. And I hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one.